everybody welcome back to talk that talk so we have a lot going on with Nicki Minaj and Cardi B so let's get right into it Nicki Minaj calls out that people only give her props when she's not actively putting stuff out basically when she's on a hiatus okay she says that they don't give props when she's putting out music Nicki Minaj also says that the people that they're giving props to, they aren't asking them for verses. And she basically goes, why aren't you asking the person that you love, the rapper that you idolize, that you love to be on your album? Let me play you the clip. That you claim inspired you. Props. Call it what it is. You ju- you're jealous. And you and y'all a lot of times y'all only y'all prefer giving props when the person isn't around doing their thing. You see, when I'm on a hiatus, everybody give props, right? <laughs> you see how I'm trying to talk like a um a yawn little. I said, right? Listen to me. Y'all want to give props when the queen ain't around. But you gotta move around when the queen is queen. And that's why you don't give me props, sweetheart, when I'm back off of my hiatus. That's why. That's why you feel icky inside. You feel like, oh, oh, oh. But you walking them, but you but you giving other people props. But you're not asking that other person for a verse. You know why? You tell me. Any rapper you love, and you did an album already, and you did mad songs for years. Da, 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 da. Why you ain't asking to be on your song? Why you ain't asking to be on your album? I seen girls bring you, I seen girls bring people out, showing them love. They ain't never did a song with them yet, yeah. <laughs> um. Oh, hey, Tasha, girl. So, my thing is, thank you, Jay. So, what do you guys think about that? So, Nicki Minaj is calling out the fake love okay she's saying people are only giving props when she's not out here putting out that work all right who do you think she's talking about now let's get into cardi b okay so you know we had some positive things to talk about cardi b yesterday because she went to um her old school and donated some money but then cardi b is out here on the blogs because cardi b allegedly pleaded guilty to third degree assault and reckless endangerment for her involvement in a 2018 strip club brawl all right she agreed to do 15 days of community service if she doesn't fulfill the community service then it looks like she may have to spend 15 days in jail now people are basically saying that Cardi B has a really good lawyer team because they were saying that people thought Cardi B was going to be in jail for years. She only got 15 days community service. All right, so this whole case basically, it is basically saying online that Cardi was accused of ordering an attack on two strip club bartenders allegedly, which are named Jade and Batty G in August of 2018. She allegedly thought that Jade had slept with her man Offset. Cardi was arrested and booked a few months later for her alleged role in the strip club fights. As part of the plea, there's also an order of protection that requires Cardi to stay away from the women for three years. All right, now we also have to talk about the lawsuit that Cardi B won against Tasha K, who was a YouTube blogger, popular YouTube blogger. Okay, that was a $1.25 million defamation lawsuit case because they were going back and forth in the comments on the Neighborhood Talks IG page. So this all started when Cardi's uh, tweet got shown. She had liked a tweet on Twitter that basically, you know, had a lot to say with Cardi B getting a lot of backlash over suing bloggers or whatever. And when she sued Tasha K and now 
that someone else is doing it, it's not a big deal. But when Cardi does it, it's a problem. Of course, this can only be talking about how Nicki Minaj is suing a blogger. We're going to get to that. Okay, so Tasha K popped up in the comments. All right. And Tasha K basically said, Did someone say my name? And Cardi B replied back and said, Nobody said your name. Send me my check. Okay. So clearly, Cardi B has not gotten paid from Tasha K after winning this lawsuit and she wants her check. All right. Now, Tasha K did respond and I did see a video about her addressing this matter. So let me play you the clip. Nothing about your mama. I ain't said nothing about those beautiful children, okay? What I did say is what I got held liable for, okay? That's what I said. Now, however, there are certain arguments when it comes to that, and that's what we're in court about. But you're going to stop playing victim. So Tasha K decided to go to social media and say that she didn't say nothing about her, her beautiful children and things like that. But Tasha K, it looks like you still got to cough up that check. I don't know what's going on right now. Why Cardi B has been paid, that ain't none of my business. I'm just here to talk about it. Now, Cardi B basically was saying that a lot of people want to make her out to be a villain so bad, okay? Especially after she um, liked the tweet about the whole Nicki Minaj suing a blogger thing. Like I said before, the tweet just basically said that, you know, the tweet basically said that people only had a problem with suing bloggers when Cardi was the one doing it, okay? So this whole thing came up because Nicki Minaj is suing a blogger, all right? So Nicki Minaj is taking legal action on this YouTube blogger girl for making false allegations about her and her child. Allegedly, I've seen the clips on Twitter. If you have not seen some of the things that this blogger has said, you could go right on Twitter and those clips will pop up, but they are disturbing. I have to warn you, I was very disturbed listening to these clips. Now, it looks like this blogger will have to cough up 75K. So Nicki Minaj has got her legal team on this matter. I've seen things on Twitter saying that um, the blogger deleted these videos, but people have screenshots of this stuff and recordings of this stuff, okay? So it's out there, all right? And Nicki Minaj has something to say about this. Let me play you the clip. Bobs is about to be owners of mad shit. Every um, new black guy snatch up. I might donate it to the barbs, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I, I, y'all, I forgot. I didn't put the concealer under my eyebrows yet. So I gotta do that. But yeah, mm-hmm. We, we about to... um. Oh, no. yeah, I'm not the right okay. So we about to um, yeah. So I'm 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 getting I'm getting y'all right. I'm getting y'all the show. Um, and it's only right that my winnings, you know, go to charities. <laughs> you know, because um, oh yeah, it's all about Nikki. Said oh, so we taking over? Yes. Let me know what are, what are you guys' favorite charities out this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so Nikki says that the Barbs are about to be owners of a lot of things. After she stated, she also um, tweeted that she hopes these people who are who are behind these blogs, because she I guess she's thinking that people they're being paid to say certain things or whatever. That they have good lawyers and that these people are going to pay for their lawyers. Once she starts to own their blogs, their shows, their IG pages, and publishing. Okay, so what do you guys think about this whole situation? This is some crazy legal mess, okay? Very, very crazy. I mean, the stuff that I heard in these clips, like I said, was really disturbing regardless of who you're talking about. I mean, my goodness, you know? And Cardi B has been having so many uh, legal issues. It's like, Cardi, we need a few years of you not having to go back and forth to court. You know what I'm saying? Like, we, we gotta calm this stuff down. All people wanna hear from both of these two ladies is music. And Nicki Minaj has been giving us a lot of music. We just wanna hear the music, okay? We just want to hear the music. Now, fans are also saying, because I was scrolling on TikTok, okay? And fans are also saying, and I feel comfortable calling some of these people fans um, because they seem to want the best for Nicki Minaj, right? We've been getting um, Nicki talking on 
Twitter a lot in the past few days and fans feel that Nikki could be just diminishing her um, her legacy a little bit because she is kind of making this one of the a big moment in her career you know her debut on number one was super super freaky girl her getting the MTV video uh, Vanguard award this is all going on around the same time and now it's just so much drama and so much negativity being put on social media and she's basically giving these girls a lot of attention that she really doesn't have to but I understand and why she is at the same time. So let me play you this clip. I'm going to say this to Nicki Minaj because obviously she don't have no real friends and her fans just follow whatever the fuck she told them to do. Sis, nobody can take away your talent or what you have done and brought to the table for hip hop. However, you're not going to be remembered for your talent and for the things that you've done for hip hop. Right now, what you're doing is you're creating a foundation to be iconic and be known for pinning black female rappers against each other. Right now, your energy is toxic. It's toxic as fuck. You insecure. You done let Azealia Banks convince you that Cardi B grandma did voodoo on you. Now she's out here on the internet bragging about lying to you, watching you crumble. Like, not to compare nobody, but I'm not even really, I mean, I, I love Beyonce as an artist, but I don't, she's not, you know, I don't listen to her. I'm old school. I listen to Luther Whitney. I, but the thing that I love about her is she does not respond to the bullshit. Somebody got something negative to say about her. She don't respond. She, I don't go against nobody. I don't have a favorite rapper. I fuck with Cardi. I fuck with Nicki. I fuck with Meg. I fuck with Lil' Kim. I fuck with everybody because that's just how I move. But since you don't got no real friends telling you to sit your ass down somewhere, your girl P. Latoy gonna take sit your ass down somewhere. Fuck with Papa Bear. Focus on focus on your art. Fuck the beef. So what do you guys think Nicki Minaj should do? I I see some of you guys saying you know like whenever if Nicki says something, all of a sudden it's an issue. Everybody else can do can speak up for themselves. But when Nicki when Nicki does it, it's an issue. I I hear y'all on that. I definitely do. And I also hear where some of these people are coming from saying that she they're basically saying she needs to log off Twitter, right? That's, that's what I'm getting from it. And she's just kind of like giving it too much attention. But what is she supposed to do when you have a lot of people coming for you or you're just holding in all this behind the scenes stuff and people are doing, you feel like people are doing you dirty. So how much is too much? What do you think? I'm very, very curious, but that is all that I have for today. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.